Hello, what are we doing in a random parking lot? Well, today we are going on an adventure. I should have had my bag on, so this was more convincing. We're going on an adventure. I had many ideas for this video at first, but then a friend of mine, Eric, he uploads skate spots around his, uh, on his website. And I was getting kind of bored with the skate parks around here recently, so I thought, why don't we go check out one of the places he showed, which was basically this whole parking lot. And he was like, oh, there's multiple things there. Just go there, explore, and see what's up, dude. So today, we're gonna do that. Uh, starting off with a few warm-up tricks, because I feel like I haven't skated, I think it's only been two days, but my body is so. while I was skating it, but this is actually a very famous gap. You go from this parking lot over this thing into this lot, but now that they have these gates up, I don't know how permanent they are, but they're like, they feel immovable. I mean, the gate was so sturdy that I was doing the wall rides on the thing. So imagine how hard it is to move when my entire body weight is pushing against it. But even just that part, super fun, dude. And I feel like we should go ahead and explore over yonder. What's funny is originally I was gonna call this video how Korean skaters dress or something like that or why all Korean skaters dress like this. And this is the uh, the outfit that I am talking about today. Baggy jeans, white tee. It should be a little longer though, maybe a little XL instead of a large and then Vans shoes. This is what I've noticed when I've been following a lot of the Korean skateboarders, that this is what they wear. But I didn't wanna make a whole video about that because I just told you everything I know about that. I really like the vibe of the people I follow in the Korean skate scene. I follow a lot of the riders for the local skate shops there and it just seems like a, it seems fun. It seems like not only do they all skate together but they have like these certain locations that they always hit. So there's like these dream skate park spots that just look so fun. But I have noticed that it seems like a lot of their fashion sense is very similar to what it would be in like New York and San Francisco. Cause I guess they are a booming city. So they kind of follow along that same guideline. And Vans just has a lot of support for their community, which is cool. They, they keep them dudes grounded. They literally built them a skate park the other day. So that's rad. And then I thought on the theme of Koreans, have you ever noticed how perfect their skin is in every K drama, K singing music or whatever. And then I, uh, I thought that'd be a perfect segue into doing an ad for Curology in this video. And you know what? I think it is, but I say we skate these flat bars first and then I'll literally tell you <laughs> my morning routine and my nightly routine because I have one. I've had one for a while now, for at least six months before filming this video. Uh, and I thought, you know what? I would share that because people do ask sometimes randomly uh, how I how I look young. Wow, this feels so narcissistic. My skin is smooth, all right? I admit it and, and these products help. But anyways, let's, <laughs> let's skate this and then uh, find some more stuff to skate, talk about Curology. You know, we're having a whole day here. It's gonna be fun. Sweet. I saw the dude skating this rail in the video and I thought, you know what, those look terrible. And then in real life, you need a lot more wax. I should have had more wax, but it's awesome. I mean, it's like stickier than you would think, but I mean, just a cool obstacle in the streets. I mean, that's the best part. You know what, before we continue on that, uh, a word from our sponsor, Curology. I've always had extremely dry skin, which just gets worse when I spend hours and hours in the sun every day skateboarding. And I never even thought to have a skincare routine until last year. And because of that, I really don't have many pictures of me in my life because I was always kind of embarrassed about my face. As you can probably see on my Instagram in the last year or so, I've been a little bolder at trying to look 
like a normal human being. Six months ago, I signed up for Curology and the difference was significant. Straight up, you can see how much smoother my skin gets just after putting on the cleanser. True story, since then, my fiance has noted the difference in the smoothness of my skin multiple times. Even just last night, she was like, it's not fair that your skin is smoother than mine. And you know what, darling, your skin is perfect. But she did say that, so that's kind of cool. A lot of the routines I researched required like 15 bottles to keep your skin smooth, and I needed something simple that was maybe two or three different things you have to apply. So with Curology, I apply the same moisturizer and cleanser in the morning and at night. And when you tell them the issues with your skin, they give you a specific serum for your skin. And that's just something I apply before going to sleep. So two things in the morning, three things at night. My skin looks significantly better than it did in my older YouTube videos, and not so humble brag, when I mentioned I was 30 recently, a lot of people seemed really shocked, and I credit a lot of that to my, to my skin. It's been giving me confidence in areas of my life that I thought were basically out of my control. Click the link in the description down below if you want to sign up and you actually get your first bottle for free. You just have to cover the shipping and handling, which is $4.95. Again, I used this product for six months before advertising it on my channel, so I 100% recommend it if you are trying to keep your skin looking young and healthy. Back to the video. It's funny because this is the vibe that I'm used to. Since I didn't come from a big city, we'd always go in the back of places like this. Like there's like suburbs close by and they're like Walmarts and Targets and you just go to the back of them and you skate. So today, like this is the perfect vibe especially because you know what sometimes when you work a lot you're like I've got to relieve some stress and to me this is like the ultimate way just to like chill out relax enjoy the atmosphere it might rain in about an hour so we should probably hurry up but this is the vibe and I like it and you know what let's go around the building maybe this way and this way and we'll see if there's anything else hopefully we find like my goal is to find one more solid spot and then try to do the trickeries but if we find two I don't know That'd be sweet. so easy but I'm trying to land turn because I'm gonna run straight into the wall where the camera is located so I've never like nollied a set and tried to land like turned so my heels are just getting automatic wheel bite it's quite a frustrating <laughs> and destroyed my hip, but I'm glad I got to experience something like that because I'm not used to skating obstacles to where if you fall forward, you're basically gonna run into a wall with your face, and that like created a whole new element that I wasn't used to. So genuinely, I gained some experience points doing a whole different obstacle. Seven stair into a wall, got the kickflip, was slamming, dude. I'm telling you, when you don't have the idea that you can just keep rolling straight, your feet or body or something overcompensates, you lean a certain way, that kind of destroys you. So now my hip, I guarantee you we're gonna be bruised. But right here, we're at a Walmart. I'm gonna go see if they have my tech decks because I have a pro signature tech deck that just like is at a lot of Targets and Walmarts, but I've still yet to get it. Dang it. I literally can never find this thing. I know that friends have seen it. I think in California especially, there's a lot of like the revived tech decks with my name on it. And that's what I was hoping to find today. But here's the skateboard selection at Walmart in case you're interested. Wow. Like literally there's not even a single skateboard, like an actual normal skateboard. These are all long boards, no big deal. I also forgot my wallet. So what am I doing here you ask? Leaving. All right, it looks like it's about to rain. Um, so I'm gonna have to call it. They didn't have my pro board. I'm gonna find it one day and that will become the title and thumbnail. I got dirt in my eye. Oh, everything's dirty so I can't scratch it. 
help. If you are not someone who has tried street skateboarding, I would 100% recommend it. It is very fun to go out and about and find new things, especially if you are maybe in a small town and there's a couple buildings here and there. I think that's the best way to utilize a small town is to find the adventure within. I know I, I'm like talking as if it's cheesy, but that's genuinely what helped me survive. My hometown, very small. There's a city nearby, but there's also like, I, I don't know if anyone would consider it a city, but a town. Uh, and it was just fun every single day, finding new spots and the littlest things. If there was something being built, we'd skate that. We'd find one obstacle and skate it forever. So it's really cool that I get to drive around in Texas. Massive state. I mean, I could drive on forever and ever and find infinite amount of spots that I thoroughly enjoy. And that gives me a lot of pleasure. That word is strange and I feel weird saying it, but I'll see you next time. Right now I am uploading videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm back on my grind. I forced myself just to like, dude, just put out a video. You know what? You got to. This is, you know, whatever. Cause I'm always, I'm always trying to do a lot of things and I'm having a lot of fun right now. I'm like creating a lot. And that's always such a fun feeling. So if you're someone out there who has creative ambitions, like drawing, that's one thing I like to do, make videos, another thing I like to do, skateboarding, oh my gosh, I like to do everything, then make sure you give it your all and have as much fun doing those things as you humanly can because that's life in a nutshell. All right, I'll see you next time. Take care, progress daily, and keep killing it. Damn, that was pretty good.